Hi, I'm Michael Ruger. I'm the managing partner of Greenbush Financial Group. Congress recently passed the third stimulus package called the American Rescue Plan. And one of the features within this stimulus package were changes to how unemployment benefits were taxed in 2020. So if you received unemployment benefits during 2020, usually when you receive them, you have to report them as taxable income when you file your taxes. Well, there's a provision within the stimulus plan that says potentially up to $10,200 of the unemployment benefits that were received in 2020, you may not have to pay tax on depending on what your total income was for that year. So we have a situation where, you know, a lot of people have actually already filed their tax returns for 2020. This just got passed in March of 2021. So for those that filed and had unemployment benefits, they may have to go back now and file an amendment to their 2020 tax return so they can recoup the taxes that were paid. They put income thresholds within the bill to gain access to this $10,200 of tax-free unemployment income. And the income threshold is $150,000 AGI, adjusted gross income. So if you look at your tax return on line 11, that's when you can where you can find your AGI. And they didn't seem to differentiate between single filer or joint filer. So as of right now, it just seems like $150,000 AGI threshold. And it also seems that if you go over by $1, like a lot of these are like phase outs, which means, okay, if you're under that amount, you get the full 10,200 tax free. If you go over, it starts slowly winding down. It looks like if you're a dollar over that $150,000, it's all taxable. So it looks like as of right now, it's an all or none gig, but we might be waiting on more guidance from the IRS on this. In the bill, they also don't clearly differentiate between one spouse receiving unemployment benefits or potentially both spouses each getting tax-free amount up to 10,200. So it seems, and this is still unclear, that as of right now, if you have that $150,000 threshold that a joint filer falls under, and both spouses got up to 10,200 unemployment benefits, both amounts may end up being tax-free. The bill also extended a number of the unemployment benefits that were set to end as of March, 2021. So a lot of these benefits, they extended out until September 6th, 2021, which was regular unemployment benefits, the benef the unemployment benefits that were available to self-employed individuals through the CARES Act, and also the bonus unemployment amount of $300 was extended out to September 2021. In addition to these tax changes that were made to the unemployment benefits and the extension of these benefits, there were a lot of other changes included in this American Rescue Plan, which included the stimulus checks, changes to the child tax credits, but we are gonna break them up into separate videos and I'll list the number of the links below so you can gain access to that. But if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at moneysmartboard.com. Thank you.